these variables, you can define a completely smooth, continuous, parametric path. And this really makes things efficient, because if you were to implement this, let's say, simply using um, go forward and turn functions, which is what like a lot of beginners, including me, start out with, that would be like several steps, it'd be pretty slow, and it certainly wouldn't be as accurate as Roadrunner, as what Roadrunner provides. And so I guess I will show a video of us using Roadrunner at the Texas Cup competition. So our robot is right here, and it's gonna move in a nice and smooth path. Let's turn up the sound. There we go. Yep, so you can see it's gonna make these curved paths. And oh, I think that team is also using Roadrunner as well. So if you were to use that, simply using like go forward and turn, that would be really slow. There's no way we could accomplish this in time. Alright. That's a nice video of what Roadrunner is like. However, Roadrunner has some problems. So first of all, it's not beginner friendly. When I started using Roadrunner, it took me around like six months to even get it working. And like for the first year, it didn't really help our team like because it was like I hadn't tuned it properly, and it was hard to get it working. So the point is, Roadrunner is not very beginner friendly, and it also has confusing coordinate system and angles. So a lot of people think Roadrunner coordinates have switched x and y coordinates. I'm not going to get too deep into it. There's also like uh, angles when you go counterclockwise. That's a positive angle. That's simply the way like this kind of math works with trigonometry. But like not everyone will instantly understand this. It's not extremely intuitive unless you've like gone through some math courses. So, um, point is, this, that's, that ties into the beginner unfriendliness part of Roadrunner. Another part, it's verbose, impossible to read, and the syntax looks like this. So it's like, I made it even harder to read, but it's like pretty bad, and it's pretty ugly. And also prototyping is slow. And I guess I'll go up on a quick tangent. Um, Okay, if Patrick wasn't here. If Patrick were here, I'd talk, I mean, I am gonna talk about his team. So his team 7172. It was the regional championship, and we, our team, we thought we weren't gonna be, get picked because our rank was like kinda low. But all of a sudden, I, I was talking to um, Sophie from 7172, and she was like, you need to code an autonomous in 20 minutes that can match our autonomous. So like, I tried to code an autonomous, just by hand, like looking around at the field, what angle to set the robot to. But by the time I finished autonomous, it was already too late, and we didn't end up getting selected um, by 7172 for the regional championship uh, for Seed Alliance. Um, but the point is, prototyping is slow. Even if like your experience with Roadrunner, it still takes some time. Um, so what this thing, this new tool I've created, it solves all these problems. And this is kind of what we want from this new tool. We want it to be highly accessible. Um, this is basically, this ties in with being beginner friendly, so uh, anyone can use it. In theory, this tool can be used by like a 10 year old or a 9 year old or something, because you'll see how fast and easy it is to make new Roadrunner paths with this tool. And instant exporting, so I've used some other tools, but the syntaxes for like, for example, there's like this meep meep path creator thing, but the syntax for that is not identical to the Roadrunner syntax, and it takes some time to like, migrate the code. But for this thing, you create the path, it's a drag and drop, it's like instant, you get to your code, you plug and play, and you're able to run it on the robot. And yeah, it's plug and play, and it's fully customizable. Um, I have not completed, uh, I have not made it completely fully customizable, but that's like, that's a step in the future. Alright, and this is the solution. So this is simply a path prototyper. It's, it has a pretty primitive visualizer, but it's exports um, are completely functional in Roadrunner. They make these really nice and smooth paths that travel quickly, and you can able and you're able to control the heading of the robot. Um, yeah. So a quick detail on what Roadrunner paths look like specifically. So this is like sample from the uh, sample from the Roadrunner visualizer. Uh, I'm just here. To, I'll just point this out here. So what these arrows indicate? They're the direction of the path. So when you have an arrow that's pointing up like this, that means at this specific point, your arrow is pointing, like the path direction is pointing up. Um, one of the most noticeable examples is here. So my visualizer is pretty primitive. It's simply a straight line. But if you have an arrow that's pointing like this, that means at exactly this point in your path, your robot is going, the, the tangential motion of your robot is gonna be moving exactly in the direction of this arrow. 
And that's what, that's the key point of my, of this new tool is that you can go, is that you can specify the direction of your robots and the direction your robot's facing and the direction that your robot travels in. So the arrows are where it's facing and the blue lines are the track. The, the, the arrows, so this is like an old prototype, so this picture is not up to date. But these arrows, um, they indicate that the direction of the path is in the direction of the arrows at that specific position. Does that make sense? No, but no. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll keep going. All right, so just a few issues point out before like, I actually give you guys an example of what we can do. So it can only do lines. We're working on a new edition of this that can actually visualize the like, curved paths, but at the moment, it's simply lines connecting dots. It can only do one type of path. So in Roadrunner, there's multiple different types of paths, but this is the only, um, this only works with splines at the moment. And lastly, it can only do one continuous path at a time, but the solution to this is easy. Just like restart the app and you're able to make as many paths as you like. And yep, so on to the demo. Let me just pull it up. I made this thing in Scratch. That's the other thing. Uh, so you, some people might feel Scratch is pretty primitive, but it can do some pretty, pretty complex things. Um, so yeah, let me just start this. And I'm gonna download this onto our robot over there. It's gonna run around the field. It's gonna follow exactly this path. Our field here is not a complete path. It's like a four by six tile field. Um, so I'll have to like, but you can, you can see right here, this is like one tile, so I have to restrain it to within this path. So let's just say I want to go from like here to here, I'll wander around, and you can take a look at what it produces. And does anyone want to time me, see how fast I can create a path? You want to time me? Yeah, okay, I'll just start it. So this path is good to go. I simply press space bar and it gives me gives me this. And you want me to stop it. Stop it when, when I get it to run. So I can simply paste it here. Oh wait, I still okay, so th there's an issue with scratch where it can only Ex it can't export new lines, so it's a temporary issue, which I can get rid of with this thing. So will it be following those straight lines, or does it turn them into splines? It turns them into splines. That's, that's what Roadrunner does. This is, this simply creates the paths. Uh, I need to connect to the, Yeah, so as you can see, the time it took for me to make this path really wasn't that long. Now the time is like connecting to the robot and downloading it. Does not run on non-bot as requires Android Studio? Uh, you might be able to get, it depends on if you can get Roadrunner to work on non-bot. Yeah. I'm not sure. Over here. One minute. No. Just takes a 
bottom to download. So looks like the bottom I can download. <laughs> Uh, zero. <laughs> I tested this beforehand to see if it's live though or Download. We have drawing next, so does anyone not get a ticket or a coupon when they came in? Alright, so just just give the green girl and green shirt on. Who is the other one? Anyone else? Two? Is the timer running? I just like made the drag and drop part because I was annoyed that it didn't exist. That's why I made it. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Do you use feed forward or PID? Do I use, uh, it uses both. It uses feed forward and PID. Um, where can we find the points and stuff? Um, I'm going to put it on our team website. Yeah. Anyone else have any other questions about this? Also, it's going to be released on our Instagram. 
so don't follow that at all. Yeah. All right. Cool. Bill and